I mean, I think for adults, um, when you're when you're involved with with kids in a high school environment, it can be very difficult to spot mental illness, especially when a teenager is making every effort to hide it because they're afraid or they're they don't want the stigma. Um, I mean, a lot of it is just building trusting relationships with them, you know, so that you can you can say to a teenager, "Are you happy?" and get an honest answer, uh, or you can ask them, you know, what. It's what's missing in your life. I don't know if it's something that you can spot on behavior alone. I think that's why advocacy is important because, you know, the kids have to be able to help each other. You know, if, if a kid is able to say to their friend, I'm not happy or I'm not, you know, um, I have this black cloud following me around or whatever it is, you know, then um, their friends have to be able to go to teachers or administrators and say, you know, I think my friend might need some help. I think he's, he's got something that he can't deal with. You know, as far as watching out for signs of mental illness in teenagers, you know, I think um, alcohol and substance abuse is a big sign. You know, isolation, I think, is also a warning sign. Seeing people who have picked themselves up and found their own, uh, found a way to live meaningful lives and are out there helping other people do it. Uh, you know, those people are my heroes. Um, and that's, you know, that's the kind of person that I'd like to be.